We're still here at Comic-Con with one of the zany minds behind the new Mad Hi. series, Kevin. Hi, how are you? I'm Kevin Shinnick, uh, head writer producer of the new Mad series. Now, Kevin, you were at the panel, on the panel earlier today. What was the crowd reaction like? You know, we were very pleased. No one walked out. Well, half of them walked out, and that was better than we expected, so we're all right. But it got a really good response. I was really happy to hear the laughs. And then the signing that you just finished, yeah. having how was that? It was great for me because I get to sit with these guys who have been with the Mad Magazine forever. And they're like, you know, Sergio and Tom Richmond and all those guys. And it's just great to be, you know, sharing the same table with them. Were you a fan of the original Mad Magazine? Oh my God, always, always. In fact, I think when I was young, I got to read The Omen because I wasn't old enough to see it. So which threw me for a loop though, because I so desperately wanted to see The Omen 2, because The Omen 1 was so funny, according to Mad Magazine. And then I saw it, I was like, Oh God! Oh no! It scarred me for life, and I think that that's that's what Mad tries to do is scar for life, and that's all you can ask. Thanks, everybody. We're now kicking it with Peter and Kevin, the producers of Mad. Now, fellas, tell me, how does the Mad Television Show relate to the magazine? I think that the great thing is Mad Magazine has been around forever, and I think anybody from Monty Python to The Simpsons to us that would talk about how it influenced our lives. I think what we're trying to do is capture what that magazine brought to our lives and put it into television form and see what we can do there. Now, the show is built around a lot of very small segments, all parodying pop culture, essentially, kind of pulling the curtain back and exposing what we all know is ridiculous about pop culture. Kind of what the magazine did when we were young. And much like the magazine, when you got the magazine, you opened it up and there was the movie parody, and then you had sketches and stuff in between, and then it would end with a TV parody. So we're gonna try and duplicate that. Another icon from the magazine that we all are curious about is Alfred Newman. Mm -hmm. um, how will he be represented in the show? Well, kind of like, you know, the magazine, because it is print, you never hear Al Alfred, but we wanted to keep that tradition up, so we've kind of stuck Alfred in throughout each episode, kind of like a little Alfred Hitchcock moment. We usually use him as a sight gag, or somewhere in the episode you'll find him, and if you don't, you should go back and look, because he'll be there. Then how will the different segments actually look in the show? Is there a mix of animation? You know, I kept thinking of it as like, it's, it's literally comedic chaos, as well as, you know, a cartoon chaos, because it's so many different styles of animation and so many different styles of humor that I guarantee we will please and piss off uh, many people. Do you think that now is a more um, appropriate time for this show than any other time in history, or, or why now for this show? Our society has become such a pop cultural referential society yeah. now, so I think it's really ripe to do it right now. What do you really enjoy about Comic-Con? Certain kinds of people don't come out of their parents' basement <laughs> yes. the rest of the year, but at Comic-Con, they come out in force in their costume. <laughs> right. That's what I like seeing the best. And the costumes. And Alfred E. Newman, come home. We miss you. <laughs> When can we expect to see Mad on air? Mad will be on air September 6th, which is Labor Day. And uh, yeah, I think it's once a week. It's going to be prime time. Probably gonna be the last thing you see on Cartoon Network before it switches over to Adult Swim. So we're going to push that envelope a little bit. Keep on pushing it, Kevin. All right, this is Albert Lawrence kicking it with Kevin. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you, Rick.